L.A. Justin Moore. He singled his last time up. First pitch on its way. And here's a fastball from Hamels to begin the at bat as he climbs ahead. Nothing in one. First gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The batter, the third baseman. Zach Stepping up now, Kozart. Zach Kozart. One for two on his line so far in the game. First delivery to him on the way. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Schwarber has it in his tracks. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batting, the left fielder. Brian digging Goodwin. in Brian Goodwin first pitch coming here it is and it's the outside corner it's strike one Hamels up to 73 pitches now for the afternoon that's in there and he's deep in the hole now 0 and 2. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone. And when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, he looks like. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Angels are gone in order. They're down five. It's seven to two. Now in the box, Chris Bryant. Lifetime against this particular arm. Batting at an even 400. He also has one home run. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And that misses inside 1-0. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. 1-1. One and one. You know, that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone. So if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. Ball taken there. 2-1 and one now. The 2-1 home. Ground ball right into the ship. And that's through for a hit. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid at that play. Stepping in now, Anthony Rizzo. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of that ball. And bye-bye, that one's gone into the bleachers. So it's a two-run shot to right center, his second of the game, as this is now a seven-run ball game. Well, as a team, they've gone yard four times, and this guy's accounted for half of them. Memo to all pitchers the rest of the game, if this guy comes to the plate, you might want to pitch around him. Standing in now, Javier Baez. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Waiting on it is Goodwin. One away. Now to play, Kyle Schwarber in his career against this pitcher. Now a big sample size, 0 for 1. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And that misses ball one. That's inside. 2 0. Oh. Well, that's another great hitting count here on 2 0. Oh. It's no wonder why they're up seven. 2 and 1 after the foul ball there. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. Into the bleachers and gone. A solo home run for Kyle Schwarber. His second home run of the game as they have widened this lead to eight now. Will 
Into the box now, Wilson Contreras. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Boy, a check swing on a pitch way out of the zone. Just held up, but boy, as a pitcher, you're hoping that he swings at that one. And he fouls this one off. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Takes this the other way to right. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. Now batting, the center fielder, Jason Hayward. So stepping in, Jason Hayward. It was. Was a flyout for him in his last trip. First delivery to him on the way. And that misses for ball one. You could tell he's starting to get frustrated out there. He's not usually used to getting knocked around the yard a little bit. And you can tell he's starting to feel for it. A two ball, no strike count to the Cubs center fielder. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Too high, and it's 3-0. and oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. 3-1. Three, and one. Three runs already home here. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. That's exactly what they wanted now out of that pitch up in the zone. They took Daniel. him off the ladder and he couldn't Daniel. get out to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. In now, Daniel Descalzo as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's two for three and looking for more here. Lifted down the line and left. Goodwin sprinting after it, and no one will track it down. Looking to put him away, here's the 0-2. Sent on the ground out to second. La Stella fields it cleanly. Well, on the board, takes care of him, and that ends the inning. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Cubbies 10 and the Angels 2. Welcome back here to the historic friendly confines of Wrigley Field. This one pretty much all over but the shouting as we check our game Leading summary to see angels. how we've gotten to where the we are. Kevin. In there no balls and a strike. Objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base so I'm not surprised to see him taking on the first pitch there. A ball and a strike now. Hit the other way out toward right field. Zobrist moves over, and this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. This game might be over for all intents and purposes, but somebody is. forgot to the tell this fielder. guy. He's a grinder, oh, and he's going to approach Calhoun. every at bat like it's his last. Does it again here and delivers a double into the gap. Into the box, Cole Calhoun. As he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. Smith leads off second with nobody out. Swing and a soft liner. And that's in there. Base hit. The throw to the plate. Top of the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. 
Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. Two strike Bad RBI batter. base hit. The, the ball pitcher. wasn't hit very hard, Nero. But from a hitter's Ooh, perspective, you'll take it any way you can get it. Yeah, in today's day and age where everyone's looking to go deep and can go deep, not many you guys a have player. a legitimate two-strike approach. Angel. This is one of Number those players, seven. and that's exactly what David. he did. Shortened his stroke Watcher. a little bit, didn't try and do too much, and came through for the team. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. O2 once more is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the strike zone. And then what do you do? You come in. That's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bad head out. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Line drive to left. Schwarber is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now that second baseman. Digging Tommy in once again, Tommy Lastella. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Oh now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. One and one to Tommy Lastella. The 1 1 home. Line hard to the left side, but foul. Okay. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's 2 and 2 now. And it's fouled away. From the belt, kicks and deals. Still even at 2 and 2. The 2 2 one more time is in there. A called strike three. One in the inning here for the Angels on a couple of hits. Get out the microphone. Stretch time here at Wrigley. It's the Cubbies 10 and the Angels 3. Ty Buntry enters now in a mop up roll as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 31. Into the box now, Paul Hamels. He'll try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. The pitcher, Cole Hamels. Mark Zagunas is going to grab a back now and hit for the pitcher, Hamels. Number two, Mark. Lays off 1-0. There's a well hit ball out to right center field. He's around first heading for two. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Wow not sure what the pitcher was thinking serving up a fastball right over the heart of the plate. His eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing putting himself into scoring position to start off the inning. Standing in now, Ben Zobrist. He swings, and it's a line drive to left center. And this is turning ugly now as this ball's down for extra bases. The runner scores from second. I'll tell you, they're posting video game numbers here. I mean, that's their 11th run of the game, and they're showing no signs of slowing down. Just an absolute onslaught from this offense. So coming to the plate, Chris Bryant. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. You're David Bodie will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody Number out. 13, David. 
High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Trout has a read on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The first baseman, number 44. Anthony. At the plate, Anthony Rizzo. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone. So it's a two run shot to right center his third home run of the ball game as the blowout continues. We'll talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hat trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that at the baseball game. The batter number nine, shortstop Javier. Stepping in now, Javier Baez, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Swing and a liner, but unfortunately right after shortstop for the second out. Now batting. Into the box now, Kyle Schwarber. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this AB. Left side, but well foul. One and one to Schwarber. Got a ball, one strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. The three and one pitch. Right side and right into the ship. Taken in by Simmons. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left. Eighth inning coming up. Cubs lead it 13 to 3. Ladies David Bodie is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Defensively for the Cubs. Now playing third base. Number 13. David Bodie. Tim Collins for the will come on to pitch here, and he'll move into the number five spot in the lineup now on the double switch. Mark Sagunas is into the ball game as well, as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Striding in, Mike Trout, and he's over in this one, batting out of the three spot. Taylor Davis is into the ball game here as he takes over behind the plate. Now catching. Number 53, Taylor. Davis. First delivery to him on the way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And that'll get down for a base hit. 
cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there. Probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never. And I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A-B of this game. So if I'm going to keep this streak alive, going to have to do it right now. Now the 0-1. Fouled away. Trout aboard here at first with nobody out. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. A look at our line score this season, afternoon, and it's seven. been a good one for the bleacher Bad. bums thus far. Oh, the homestanding Cubs enjoying a big lead here late. Settling in now, Zach Kozart. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been now unable to advance so that leadoff it. single into Brian. scoring position. Good win. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Hey. Strike two. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Angels leave one, and they remain well, well behind. Your Noah Ramirez please. comes on to pitch now, now hoping for better for results Angels. than the other arms Number that they've run out there in this one. No way. Stepping up to the plate, Taylor Davis. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Taylor. David. Here comes the first pitch. Boy, not the way he wanted to start out here. It's 0-1. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, he chased a bad pitch that time. It's strike one. Classic case right there of an off speed pitch, and that hitter's eyes lit up, and that front shoulder went flying. He's got to find a way to keep that thing tucked and play with the big part of the field. The 0 1 outside for a ball, 1 and 1. And think about it in game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Yanked on the ground down the line. Ball. One and two to count now. Bases are empty, one man out. Counts even to Hayward, two balls and two strikes. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going.
keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this Looks inning. Like That's man. back to back days and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Just a tick behind for a strike. Right side played on the backhand, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Cubs are down in order, as you can forgive them as they still hold an enormous lead. Striding into the box, Kevin Smith starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Number 56 takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. First offering on its way. Grounded to short. There's Baez. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting, right fielder, Cole Calhoun. Riding in once again, Cole Calhoun. Here's the first pitch to him. Ah. Upper part of the zone there, but taken for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Fouled off. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. And Lucroy behind the ball in two strikes. But there's your textbook waste pitch right there. Try and get the eye level up. Let's see if he comes back with another fastball elevated or drops a hammer off. Angels down to their last strike takes this the other way to right that gets down and the inning continues legs churning he's headed for second and he is in the second with a two out double there's no question he's been now struggling at the dish lately the trying to do anything and to get himself going so he's got to feel pretty good after that double not to take anything away from him but I think I could have probably hit that pitch yeah that's one of those gift pitches not the location he was shooting Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And that'll hit off the Ivy out there. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. Now that well, he was almost the out of the inning. Did the last two batter showed him that you can't lose focus on the mound, even if you get two quick outs. Back-to-back -back doubles shows you just how quickly things can get away from you. In now, Tommy Lastella as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Slapped hard the opposite way, and he'll put this one away, and with that, the ball game is over. On paper, this had the makings of a real hard fought game, but uh, paper and reality, those are two different things. They pulled away and never looked back. How about to a tune of a nine run victory? 13 to 4, the way this one ends. The Chicago Cubs launched six home runs as a team in the ball game. Cole Hamels earns the win his second. Chris Stratton permitted six earned runs to come across 
in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, four hours and one minute. Our paid attendance at Wrigley Field this afternoon, 41,649. As always, we thank you for your support of Chicago Cubs baseball and remind you to please drive home safely.